Catherine. Good morning, Mary, and welcome to Living the Gourmet. Thank you for being with me. It's my pleasure. Oh, thank you so much. Well, Mary Giuliani, you're caterer to the stars and the art and fashion world, and you also have a partnership with Mario Batali called Mar Mario by Mary, a yes. soup and sandwich shop at the Penzi in New York City. So if all my listeners from New York City could stop in and have soup and sandwich. Yes. And also you're a regular contributor to the Rachel Ray Show. So that's very nice and Thank you for being with us. So you're here today to tell us about spring and summer entertaining with an Italian accent, correct? Yes, I am, Catherine. Oh, well, <laughs> now, what are some of your ideas for, ideas for entertaining um, with that Mediterranean accent for the spring and summer? Where should we all begin? Oh, I think you should begin outside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm telling you, it's been a long winter, and I can't wait to just be outdoors. Me too, Catherine. Um, well, I, 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 I really enjoy spending time with my guests when I entertain. So I always look for really unique and fun ways for a lot of pre-prep that could be done. So then when my guests get there, there's something visually beautiful for them to see, hearty enough for them to eat, and I could really enjoy my time with them. So one thing that I really recommend for this summer, and again, because the, the sun will be out and we want to see all those beautiful colors, I've created a rainbow crust, um, breadstick bar. And so um, we found a really delicious product, Molino Bianco, which is really authentic Italian, which I love. Um, I grew up very Italian, and um, I lived in Italy. And so, so, so to find products that taste like I've traveled, um, I really identify with. So um, I found these breadsticks, and um, what I do is I put them out with beautiful colored dips. So I have an Italian guacamole, which is a basil um, guacamole, white bean hummus, eggplant caponata, Oh, my God, I love that. <laughs> it's so pretty, and it looks good. It's all either store-bought store or, or, or pre-made, and I just display it in beautiful bowls, and my guests could come over and make a really hearty bite with the breadsticks. So I really love that. Um, I also really love, again, because I'm so Italian, <laughs> um, prosciutto wrap breadsticks. I think that's... Oh, my God. <laughs> right? Are they so good? It's that well, I grew so up Italian myself, so, I, you know, this is all heaven to me. <laughs> well, Catherine, then you might find this funny because they relate to this. Um, when Christmas Eve night, my, my mother was putting out, like, a cookie plate for Santa, mm -hmm. and she says that I, I walked into the kitchen, and I wasn't satisfied with the cookies, and I started to roll prosciutto around breadsticks, <laughs> and I looked at her, and I said, well, Mom, he might be Italian. That's um, right. <laughs> so um, I do love that. I love the sweet and the savory and, um, and the heartiness of that sort of meal. And so I love that. And then cookies. I don't know about you, Catherine, but my Italian grandmother, she didn't just have cookies for dessert. She had them in the morning for breakfast. Yes, yes. And cookies that you dip in the black coffee and cookies that you dip in wine. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. So that that for me is I, I I still do that, and it's a just a great way to re, you know to revisit a ritual, and um, mm -hmm. so and in addition I, to so for entertaining, um, I take the cookies. Um, Molino Bianco also makes a delicious assortment of cookies that are so pretty. They have stars on them, and they're hearts, and um, I place them out on cookie trays um, on on cake stands or a platter. And I put them out with chocolate sauce and sprinkles or caramel sauce, maybe a little ice cream. And I encourage my guests to just play with the flavors, make different combinations. And again, it's something that's put out before they get there, and it encourages them to have fun and really enjoy the, um, the ritual of entertaining. And also it gets people to get up and mingle, and, and it's just a, a fun way of entertaining. Definitely. And now, with Italian living, you want to, I, I would love to hear your tips on Italian living and, and being, you know, more Italian, because people gravitate. I mean, the, probably the most famous food in the world is Italian food. So what are some tips for people who want to cook Italian? I think, for me, it was the, the joy of the ritual of preparing. Um, oh so for, you know, I, I was fortunate. I had my, grand, my Italian grandparents that lived in my home. So on Saturdays, we would spend the whole day with music on and, you know, yes. people running around the kitchen and laughing and crying because yes. we were Italian um, yes. and, and preparing. And so I felt the joy that went into the actual preparation of the food 
made mm -hmm. it taste better the next day. And it was also using simple, clean ingredients. You know, that I learned really, really early on that simple could be very special. And um, I think that's an, a very inherently Italian um, thing. And so, um, so I say for that, enjoy the, enjoy the b before. Enjoy the pre pre preparation of the food. Enjoy what you're displaying. Have pride in it and because your guests will feel that. I also think with summer and spring coming, like we said, you know, go outside, find a shady tree, put that table underneath it. The more you switch things up and just show, you know, a slight change in the way you entertain, your guests are going to be really excited for that. And you find Italian cooking is very clean. Very it's clean. Very clean. It's finding the simplest, purest form of an ingredient, maybe no more than two or three um, ingredients in whatever you're preparing, the freshness of it, and no better time than the spring and summer to find those ingredients and really cook with an Italian flair. Exactly. And now, you cooked with your grandma growing up. Yes. You now, what would you find some of her go-to recipes that you've made modern for your dinner parties today? For well, our well, we always, um, so we always um, made this, you know, we made, rolled the meatballs and fried the <laughs> meatballs. Um, she did something really cute. She taught me, before the meatballs went into the sauce, she would always put two on the side for my grandfather, and no one could touch those. Those were the, they, before they went into the sauce. <laughs> so I find myself on Sundays, I leave two out for my husband <laughs> before they oh. go into the sauce. And I, I would always find that when you came home from church, my mom would have the big pot of sauce, and you always had a meatball or two the minute you got it in the door. Oh, definitely, and you would take the fresh Italian bread and dip it into the sauce and then run away. <laughs> exactly, exactly, yep. and, and just as you say, it, it is, it is a labor of love. Yes, yes, and I think that's really what the Italian thing is. It's, I, you know, it's the joy of gathering. You know, working with Mario Batali, I learned that very quickly. It's not so much that he's such an incredible chef. It's the joy that he really gets in gathering people through great food and great beverage and 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 interesting and unique um, flavors and and um, entertaining styles. So, so everyone listening should not be afraid to throw an Italian style themed dinner party. That's right. Anyone could do it. <laughs> and, and would you like to give your website? Yes. So um, for really great tips on how to entertain Italian style, you can go to molinobianco.com. Um, and also, if you want to try these breadsticks or these cookies, they're available in most grocery stores in the United States in the international food section. Oh, that sounds wonderful. That sounds wonderful. And I, I'm sure, as you, cannot wait to get outside with a nice picnic table and enjoy Catherine, I hope I wish I could join you. <laughs> right. And if you ever come to Long Island and Amityville, my door is open. <laughs> oh, I grew up in Long Island. I will. I'm going to knock on your door, Catherine. <laughs> oh, I'd love that. I would love that. That would be so much fun. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, well, it was wonderful talking to you, and I hope that everyone goes to the website and visits and visits your uh, your shop with Mario because I'm sure you'll get some delicious sandwich and soup. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, Wonderful talking to you. You Have too, a Catherine. Day. Happy spring. You too. Bye, Mary.